My name is Dr. Jay Greenstein. I'm a chiropractor and I practice in the Washington, D.C. metro region. I'm really fortunate because I'm in a very unique position. Uh, I, I own a group of chiropractic rehab practices, so I, I, get to, I get to see the impact of saferpainrelief.org on our patients. But I'm also very involved in policy advocacy and research. And one of my roles in chiropractic is as chairman of the Clinical Compass, and we set forth evidence-based guidelines for the profession. In addition, we also uh, work to acquire funding for really important research that we think will move the needle for overall population health. Chiropractic is in the perfect position to help fight this epidemic. First of all, over the last 20 years, there's been a huge amount of literature, research, science to support what we do. We know that spinal manipulation works. It helps with patients who have neck pain. It helps with patients who have low back pain. In fact, in the most recent American College of Physicians Clinical Practice Guideline, spinal manipulation was one of only two treatments that were recommended for all classes of back pain, acute, chronic, and subacute. The opioid epidemic is a huge problem in this country. We know that 11.5 million people are suffering with some sort of opioid prescription challenge in their life. We also know that about 17,000 people a year are dying from these drugs. In addition, it's just a huge economic burden with over $500 billion being spent to manage this crisis. So it's impacting lives and communities across this country. And obviously, as a healthcare provider, we take it super seriously and we want to do whatever we can to have positive impact to change the crisis. Safer Pain Relief is one of the most important initiatives today in chiropractic. It's really important that you check out the website so you can see all the resources available for patients and providers alike. Lucky for me, and lucky for us as a profession, and quite frankly, lucky for our communities, um, we've got a very strong relationship with Performance Health. And Performance Health has been able to donate a significant amount of funds to uh, um, the Clinical Compass, where we've been able to allocate those funds for research on the impact of chiropractic on the opioid crisis. And here's what we found in the first study. When a patient saw a doctor of chiropractic, the likelihood of them receiving an opioid prescription was 55% lower than if they hadn't seen a chiropractor. And that is a really significant statistical association. That's the same association as someone who smokes and gets cancer, who doesn't smoke and doesn't get cancer. In addition, total drug costs were lower when the patient saw a chiropractor as compared to when they didn't. So we're in the business of health and creating healthy outcomes for our patients. And one of the most important things that we can do is empower them to take control of their health. And, and we do that through a variety of methods, and one of the most important methods is providing tools for them to use at home so they can take care of their conditions while they're not in our office. So things like biofreeze instead of ice, because we've seen from our studies that patients prefer biofreeze over ice nine times out of ten. Um, we know that it reduces pain twice as much as ice. So it's a great tool for them to use at home so they can manage their condition in between visits. In addition, giving them CLX bands and, and other uh, elastic bands that they can use where they can do their exercises to empower them where they've got control over their condition and not completely reliant on the provider is a really, really important component of getting a long-term positive outcome. And then other tools like kinesiology taping where they can tape themselves to decrease their pain, uh, also a great way for them to help manage their condition so they feel empowered to know that they can actually get better from this condition. There's a lot of products out there that don't have a lot of research around their efficacy, even their, their, their components, how they're made. And Performance Health spends a tremendous amount of money and effort on R&D and certainly clinical research to really ensure that when you're providing an intervention for a patient, you know that it's safe and you also know that it's effective and you know there's evidence behind it.